Hey everyone, my name is Sam. Thanks for checking out this video. If you get to the end and liked it, then give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and the bell notification button. Uh, I know I look a little homelessy. Let's just get past that. It's been a rough week for me mentally. Are we really gonna start this now all of a sudden as soon as I start? Really? You're really cute, huh? Um, I just had a really rough week mentally. My mental health already hasn't been at the greatest. Um, so I, uh, needed a bit of a break from the structure. Um, the review video that normally goes up on Sunday that I obviously missed, um, it will, I don't think I'm going to read a ton of books this upcoming week, so I think I'll be able to play catch up over the next couple weeks and get those video reviews up. Most of the books have some sort of comment on Goodreads though, so if you do desperately want it because you're trying to see if you should buy it, um, you can look on there. So, I wanted to do something a bit more fun and it was, it's kind of, it was sort of an idea I got when my friend Felicia, I was at the store, what was I doing? I was looking at something at the store and um, and she made some comment of, I'd actually really like to see you go around a store, just judge, pull books out and judge, judge books by them. I don't know logistically how to do, how I would do that because it's a store and like whatever, but I kind of like stop snoring. I kind of love the concept though of being like seeing if I could get someone like just like I don't even know if buy them because I feel like that's a waste of money but like see if I can get one of my friends to like just collect a bunch of book covers and be like would you buy this sort of thing so maybe we'll do like friends help him help me judge a book buy its book cover soon but then that kind of got me on this train especially the last like two weeks um there has been a flood of cover releases over the last couple weeks I picked some of those and we're going to talk about those. We're going to go through some of these book covers and we're going to judge books by their book covers because let's be real, when you want $25 a book, I'm going to judge you by a lot of different things including how much effort you put into the cover. Did you just take advantage of an English, English major intern who doesn't get paid and tried to figure out Photoshop and you paid a stock photo? Yeah, you're not getting $25 from me. but. Yeah, there's some other stuff in here. Okay, so the first one is The Kinder Poison by Natalie May. I had never heard of this book, and I just by fluke found the cover because I opened Twitter and uh, Instagram. Like, their algorithms have caught me. Every time I open Twitter and Instagram now, it's a cover reveal. Like, it's, it's insane, actually. It sounds like it's been written before. Honestly, the cover, when I look at that, that looks like a self- published cover that doesn't look like a professional publisher so I actually went and looked it was like oh I thought maybe this just fluke showed up because someone I know follows them as an indie author um and then I looked and oh no this is like I think it's Harper Teen sorry Razor Bill also for me it's a flag I don't think I'll be buying this just like I said the cover unless there's some like amazing like embossments are lifted on the cover or the gold is foiled or something like that that looks very like hastily thrown together on honestly and as someone who loves purple and gold especially that it, I don't know if lazy is the right word but that looks very like not a lot of effort was put into it and then even the blurbing is perfect for fans of Victoria Aveyard and Holly Black I don't like either of those authors so um yeah I know they're supposed to be like a death defying race across the desert which like I'm all cool that we're doing more stuff in the desert rather than like a place that looks and sounds and is structured a lot like England but like that's just a big big fail for me unfortunately. So then there was also My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman and I actually knew about this book coming uh, just because of the content. Um, I had a friend that messaged me and was like hey um, I know that you are trying to get breast reduction surgery um, this might be something that you'll relate to I guess. So I actually really love this cover. First of all I love that it's like a cartoony like it's it's proper it's like a design um I like the pink in the background I wish it wasn't a white blonde girl but you know pick your battles I guess at this point that we're talking about um you know women's bodies um so one thing that I've been trying to go through the process of since I was 16 so I'm 27 now is finding a doctor to help me go through the process of getting breast reduction surgery. I've tried this in three different provinces and it took me until I was 26 to find a doctor here in Alberta who said she could help me. Um, and all I've run into is the government telling me that I'm too fat 
to for them to cover it and then me going to a dietitian and they're saying no you can't get to the BMI they're asking you for because of your chest size so it's this whole like dilemma and I can't afford to have it done and it's going to cost the government more money in the long term because I'm going to have neck neck back shoulder pain for my entire life which is going to build up as I get older um so it's for lack of a better term fucked up but it is interesting that I've noticed in the last like five years people when they do first meet you I notice when their eyes they look at me in the eye they look at my chest and they look back up for like it's just a hyper second I don't even think people realize they're doing it um and it's not even like oh they look you up and down I can see where their eyes go so I thought that was interesting so seeing that this book is coming out and I'm just really curious about this I don't know that I'll buy it because I feel like it's not one I want to constantly reread potentially it's also an author I don't know and contemporaries are always really hit or miss with me, especially with blonde white girls in them. Um, but I'm definitely going to give this a go through my library. And I actually really like this cover. I think it's kind of relatively simple, but I like where the bubble is with the title in it. I thought that was just really, really fitting. And I feel like that gave me hope for the actual content itself. Then there is Sisters of Sword and Song by Rebecca Ross. Rebecca Ross wrote the Queen's something what was it called? The Queen's Uprising? The qu oh, does it say on the cover? Oh, no, go back. Oh, no. The Queen's Uprising or something. Where's the R's on my shelves? Did I unhaul it? Do I even still own it? Oh, I might have unhauled it. Oh, yeah, I think I unhauled it. Um, But she wrote the Queen's Uprising series that had that, like, student-teacher trope thing, which I wasn't totally crazy about. I never read the second book. I don't know that I ever will. I really love this cover, though. This gives me, like... Like, I, it's very traditional YA vibes from this, but I love this, Co especially compared to her first series, the Queen's Uprising or whatever, Queen's Rising, whatever it was called series, where it's just like kind of like this beautiful, like designed outing. And then in the middle, it's just like this weird person standing there in a cloak or whatever. I didn't quite, that felt very disconnected to me. This is like a fully thought out cover. Like everything works together, the sword and the spear and the scorpion on the, the shield and like the apple and the flower all the way around and little like banner paper stuff. That looks really, really cool to me. Um, because I didn't totally love their last, uh, her last series. I think I'll get this through the library, but I'm definitely interested in this. This was not on my radar before the cover reveal. Then I saw Lobizona. This just random by fluke showed up on my Instagram feed when I opened it and it refreshed. I have never heard of the author before. This is a beautiful cover. The author also posted on their Instagram like the full like dust jacket laid out. So like you have the design of all the hair, all those little intricate details. I am so much more willing to purchase a book when I put all those little in details in the hair and everything like that because I feel like you can appreciate that when you finish the book and like, oh my god, look at the cover. Be like, that's why that is there. That's why that is there. Same thing with like I mean, I was already going to buy it, but Sarah J. Mass's new book that comes out in March, I think it is, the cover, it has all these like little intricate details all over the place. So I'm like, I want to read it and I want to buy it so I can look at the cover and figure out all of that stuff. And Lobby Zona just looks cool. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. It's also about an undocumented um, person. I think, I don't know if it's after they get to the United States or the process of getting into the United States, but it just looks... Like, the cover just looks so well designed and thought out. So they also released the cover for Chasing Lucky by Jen Bennett. No. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to give you money for this. The poor... The poor English major intern that you don't pay was like, I found a cool looking, like, thought. And bless that English major intern, okay? I wouldn't do what you do. But this is just a stock photo. <laughs> this actually... I want a book, this kind of reminds me of, you know that meme where the guy's like holding the girlfriend's hand but then looking over his shoulder like, ooh, that kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, Chasing Lucky, hard pass on that. I'm not their target audience anyways, though. Uh, Facing the Sun by Janice Lynn Mather. Mather? I, okay, I love the colors of this cover. Um, it's, the fonting of the text is also really cool, actually, I do like that. But I feel like cohesively together, there's, it's too busy. Like, it's just, it, it, there's a bit of a disconnect. I like the silhouettes. Um, I'm a little bit confused if they messed up on it, though, because, like, they're basically, like, like ba not basts, what's the word? Like, the, the head, what the heck is the word? Of those people's heads molding. 
it's not boss it's not bass what am i it's probably a combination of those words where the the orange silhouette ends it, it like it cuts off abruptly at the like the bottom like it's a straight line and then the under underneath it the red one it also does it but so why why are they overlapping that does that looks like an error to me that like why aren't they meshing together at the same like d like length at the end of it bust that's the word <laughs> so why why is the orange one overlapping the red that just doesn't look right because you can see like the corner of the red one peeking out that doesn't look right to me that looks like there was a messed up like they weren't they didn't maybe notice it when they were doing the final edits of the cover okay Ever Cursed by Corey Ann Haydew. I had not heard of this book. No inkling. I couldn't even actually when I went on Goodreads to after I saw the cover reveal, I was like, what is this book? Um, and I had to like type out the author's full name before it finally showed up um, in the Goodreads drop down menu. Honestly, interested now. This is a beautiful cover. And oh my god, if they do a glossy like background and then lift the gold like br or the rose gold brassy features, this is going to be an absolutely freaking beautiful cover. If it's if they pull a never tilting world and then just paint this on, or then print this on plain matte without any like details and no under jacket, I'm not touching it. I'll go to the bookstore first and see it. Um hopefully it'll be in the bookstore. If not, I won't. <laughs> um if it if they've done details to it, absolutely we'll be picking this up. Absolutely. It sounds like a book that I would enjoy anyways. Um but if I, it's just plain lazy printing cheap-ish kind of I, I don't want it to sound like super like negative but like I feel like when you put all that effort into like a pretty cover and then like you don't follow through that is kind of lazy as a publisher um or you took the cheaper route like financially because it costs more money to do those so whatever the reason being if it was like to be more fiscally cheap or I don't know um I I'm more or less inclined I'm I'm, I'm far less inclined to be willing to purchase that stuff um but the time pieces the clock all surrounded by the flowers and then having the border frame oh, this is beautiful beautiful i was so like when that came out i just absolutely love that and oh, like seriously if they foil and lift those rose gold brass texture feature things i'm gonna lose it that's gonna be one of the most beautifully printed books covers like of all time on my bookshelves if that happens. I'm kind of hoping a book box will pick this and honestly I might get the book box for it because if they do like a special cover and then I can also get the regular one. This is a book where I could just see the justification for that because it's beautiful. Stunning. Hadn't heard of it before. Definitely picking it up now. This isn't like a super new release. I feel like it came out a couple like weeks ago, maybe two months ago, but Havenfall by Sarah Holland. This is like an interest. I love the color scheme of this. I love the color scheme of this. I'm also a big fan of this whole like locks and doorknobs, sort of like the 10,000 doorways of January, whatever, wherever that book is on my bookshelf. I love those sorts of details because I feel like we've like really like gone and like played with it of what we, like what animals and what, like flowers and details and all that stuff. And I feel like they look amazing when you when you do any sort of gloss finish or embossments or any um or any like under dust jacket details uh they always look beautiful okay don't print them on a matte paper and be like cool we're done don't do that don't do that with a door like that just looks bad um and i just i don't know this at first i was like i really like the color scheme and then just looking at it i was like it's kind of boring though Maybe it's because the doorknob, like, there's no, like, it doesn't seem to be any, like, smaller intricate details. It just seems to be, like, here's a wolf on both sides. And I think kind of, like, a bee-ish looking at the bottom. And that's kind of it. I don't know. It seems a little simple. Like, they, they made all the space to do something with it, and then they didn't do it. No matter, it's, it's the book cover version of Kill This Love by Blackpink. Building up to this course, then you get there, and then nothing happens, and you're like, what did you do with all this space here? All this empty space where they're dancing and there's nothing happening in the song. What what happened here? Did you forget? Did you submit the wrong version of this? Or what what's happening? That is what this is. They just released this cover like two weeks ago and I freaked out when I saw it. I was so relieved. I was terrified they were going to do a mid-series cover change for this last book in the series. Um, just because I know My Lady Jane sold so amazingly well. Um, and then, so My Calamity Jane. I'm so excited for this freaking book. 
most in, one of my most anticipated for 2020 and I know they signed a contract to do another series I don't I think it was for like another group of like re, re, redoing history for certain people um but I'm so happy with this this is one of the few series where I'm like oh there's a person on the cover good like this and the gentleman's guide device and virtue I like what they did when they took and put people on them and then mess with them with these like cartoon like writing and everything on them um it reminds me I don't know what the full book was called but when I was younger I used to read this book called like Amelia something and it was like her diary and it was all doodled up and everything like that and it reminds me of that so maybe it's a little bit of like me thinking back to a book that I really enjoyed as a kid or something like that but I feel like it also does an amazing job of representing the overall tone of this series um and just messing with messing with this girl's you know this person's you know story and giving them a better one I just I love that and I'm so here for this cover I'm so freaking excited for the series this one popped up in my timeline I think like about a month ago Verona Comics by Jennifer Dugan I've never I hadn't read Hot Dog Girl I've actually heard some relatively good things about it but when I when I hear like the summary and whatever I'm always like I don't think that's something I would enjoy and I don't think it would be on the author that's a personal taste thing I'm not the target audience I don't think for with someone with that sort of a book. I love the cover of Hot Dog Girl though too. It's very sweet. I recommend it to all my libraries always looking for queer rep. Um, I'm kind of interested in picking up Verona Comics though and maybe it's because I keep seeing the same kind of style covers releases for this author. Maybe I'll read it and be like maybe I should try Hot Dog Girl. I don't know but like this I look at that and it makes me think of the Big Bang Theory and again that may be linked to nostalgia of like I remember watching the pilot of the Big Bang Theory <laughs> and I don't know I just love this com this world now where we're like having women involved in comics and comic shops and graphic novels and all that stuff I just really like that so big thumbs up to that one I mean again I look at it and I'm like that doesn't scream diversity to me it's two white people but like Hopefully there's some more diversity rep in there. And I know the author did queer rep in her other one. So hopefully we'll get that in this one too. Okay. The Archer of Dawn. Honestly, this is one of the book covers that I was like, maybe I, I kind of want to do this video because of it. I don't know if it fits the first cover. Like it has the same font and the same like kind of color scheme. But this doesn't look right. Is it? I don't know if it's like the, zi the, the striped background that's throwing me off. I think that that is it. it it's too bright it's too yellow it's too I don't know what's happening there it the, the background doesn't fit the rest of the cover because I feel like if you want to put like a forest aesthetic that's doable but this I I it took me several minutes of looking at it being like oh wait maybe they're trees they just look like a bunch of squiggly orange lines to me so I hmm, I mean I'm gonna buy it because I loved the first book so much and I want to support Swati but like it it's another one where there's like just one piece of the book cover that's a disconnect from the rest of the cover and it's just so large and glaring that I'm like what happened? Okay this book I was like kind of like mm, I, I saw the arc of it floating all over the place um where dreams descend and then they released the cover and I was like hold the hell on I need that and then I actually read the summary and in Phantom of the Opera I mean, it's Moulin Rouge and I need that in my life so badly. It also gives me a lot of Ace of Shades, uh, right? That's what it's called, right? Ace of Shades? Where's Amanda Foodie? It, it gives me Ace of Shades like content vibe and oh, I'm so here for it. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of Daughter of the Burning City's cover too. Um, totally different author, but I didn't love Daughter of the Burning City. But I like Amanda Foodie's writing. Also, she just got engaged. Congratulations on that. Um... I just this content yes 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 because I saw the arc and I saw these like soft pastel -y pink covers in this like weird font and I was like eh, eh, this just looks like a YA romance that you were like it's like Phantom of the Opera and like and that was your selling point but no I want this I'm buying it and if they do I will buy this even if it's plain like matte printed but if they do any sort of lifting on that white tech like the white title oh my god it'd be amazing it'd be so freaking good and I would be absolutely floored if no book box does this book I would honestly be startled with the amount of content that they can pull on with Caraval and Ace of Shades alone for like items I would be floored and again that is a book I might actually buy a book box for so just Heads up, Owl Crate and Shelf Love. Okay, this is one that I'm like, this is another one that I was like, I kind of want to do this video just so I can talk about this cover. Um, the Sullivan Sisters by Catherine Ormsby. 
Okay, the content itself doesn't sound like something I'd be particularly interested in, but it sounds like one of those books where I'd be like potentially like read it and be like, wow, this is actually a really good book. It'd be one of those books where you're like, nah, screw it. I'll give it a try. And then you read it and you're like, oh my God, can you imagine having not read this book? It looks like one of those. But I, honest to God, kind of want to buy it just for the cover. And I may do that. I think it will be a cover buy, even if it was printed plain matte this would look beautiful even if they do it a gloss and then they put like a bit of a glitter even if they put a little bit of like a glitterness on the purple area to look more like this like a galaxy so here for it. i absolutely love the effort that was put into this cover it's so bluntly obvious with all the small little detail flowers they didn't even do like big chunky flowers the amount of time that the artist had to have put into doing this is mind boggling to me. As someone whose sister is in graphic design, she, I've seen, like, she does more of the tech stuff now, but, like, I've seen even trying to do those, like, they have to sketch some of the stuff out, even by hand, even with those programs. Like, I, I, I can comprehend just how long it takes to do a lot of that stuff. Um, I want to support a book and a publisher putting this much effort into a cover. Um, oh, I freaked out when this cover came out because I was so freaking excited. Someone posted in like a Black Witch Chronicles group and was like, ah, uh, is this the, the cover? And then like a few minutes later, Laurie Forrest had it like revealed online on a, a blog. Ha! Huh, the Shadow Wand. Oh, I'm so excited. This series that they've kept the covers. I was so terrified they were going to do recovers after all of the drama that happened with the first book. And then people have finally read and been like, wait, what was that review you were talking about? This is clearly anti-racist book. And I'm like, thank you. I got called a racist originally when I was like, this book is amazing. Um, so it just high here for it. I love that they've managed to every single one have like this, like a token of some sort um, that ties back into the big overarching theme. And I know that the series actually got an extension. I think it was originally supposed to be four books and like the two novellas. And then I think now it's set to be five books and the two novellas. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm so excited here because we've got the dragon in here and the dragons came up after like kind of continuously in the last little bit. And now that they split um, paths in the, after the last, um, at the end of the Iron Flower, I'm so curious as to see how that's going to go down. And I'm so excited and I cannot wait for this book to come out. And I just, oh, yes. This one just came out a couple weeks ago, I feel like. Tigers Not Daughters by Samantha Mabry. I love that the author has my name. Um, this is another one that looks like a date, like, like uh, an independent publisher's cover a little bit to me. If they had just left it as, like, the girl with, like, the fire, even having the tiger jumping across where the title is and maybe shrunk the title a little bit, um, the tiger over her eyes, I don't know what that is. That doesn't, the, especially the opacity of it, like, faded, that doesn't look right to me. That that looks like a, maybe an original submission for cover design and then you take input and then fix it because that doesn't look right to me. Um, I just, eh. I like the colors all over the place, but I feel like there needs to be more of the grayed out stuff for it to pop. So the background is bluey, purpley a little bit. Um, I think that should just be totally black and I feel like the rest of it would pop more and then change where the tiger is. I feel like that would be more interesting. I had actually never heard of this author or her previous book, which apparently was super big. Um, I'll keep an eye and like he listen to like general reviews of it, but um, this isn't totally on my radar at this point, honestly. Seasons of the Storm is going to be a absolute cover by. Uh, yeah, just Seasons of the Storm is going to be a cover by. I just know it. Hadn't heard of it before. Cover came out, jaw dropped, put it on my to buy list. Uh, then the cover for The Damned by Renee Adier came out. Ah. People were like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And I was just like, meh. It's a skull and grapes. I mean, I guess it's like they're continuing the cover from the first, from uh, the theme from the first cover, um, which is good. Um, I feel like the first cover was a little bit more interesting or like, or like this spotlight show thing. My eyes ju would just gloss over this in a bookstore, honestly. I, I don't think I would stop to take a look at that, which is, um, Star Daughter. This one made me eat my words about all the things I've said about Charlie Bowater. Not that she's about, I don't know her personally. Uh, I feel like all of her character and all of her artwork, all of her covers rely on people, which I feel like is a little bit of a cop out. You should, you know, break out and do something a little bit different than just a person. Um, and they all tend to look like they belong in the Actar world. This made me eat my words, okay? I am pro whatever the heck happened here. Don't know what changed the tune there. Um, I'm buying this. Just pretty simple. Um, I'm buying that. And if any of this gold stuff is is shiny or lifted, 
awesome, wonderful. Um, I do kind of hate the um, typeset that they used for the author's name, though. I don't know why they disconnected it from the title or to just do a smaller, like, more curvy one. It just, it, it's like Comic Sans. It just bugs me for some reason. And on that same note of Charlie Bowater, Forest of Souls by Laura M. Lee. Um, I think she still kind of does like she lo looks belong in the Akatar world, but she is clearly a character of color. Um, and I had this argument with some people and I was like, they're like, Aurora Rising has a person of color on the front. And I was like, she looks white to me. Like, I don't see any, like, I, I, like, I don't know what part of, they're like, well, she's half Asian. I'm like, that literally doesn't look like it though. This character actually looks like she's of Asian descent, um, as like the other person. So she definitely does, does still look like she look, belongs in the Akatar world, but I like the, the, like what they did with the title, like with the tree branches and like the spider and everything. And then the shadow on her face, that looks really cool to me. Um, I feel like a lot of the black area could have behind her, something could have been done there, maybe to tie in with, um, what's happening on the, um, the, the title, but I really like this. I'm definitely gonna, it's not an auto buy for me the way Star Daughter is, but I will definitely watch out for reviews of this one. Um, and I hadn't heard of it before, so yay. I had already known I was going to buy this and I knew that it was coming out. Set fire to the gods. Hell yes to this gladiatrixness. I'm buying it. I buy everything Sarah Rash puts out. Um, I'm just very yes to this cover. I love all the colors of it in the background and then the the bright colors and then of the of the title and then like the orange kind of I don't know if they're sparks or whatever going around them and then like their outfit just big yes and their characters of color huzzah the betrothed by cure cast don't touch me with a 10 foot full 10 foot pole with this one I will not pick this up I'm not the target audience though I like the gold but this is another one of Y'all told an English major intern that you don't pay, that you needed a cover. And I feel like this pisses me off because they know Kira Cass' book is going to sell well. They would make back how, whatever the amount of money is that they put into designing that cover. And they were like, take a picture of someone who looks like Kate Upton in a gold dress. Like, find me that. And they went on a stock photo image website and did it. That's just lazy to me, but I wasn't going to buy that book anyway, so... The Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska. This has witches in it, so I'm probably gonna buy it. Um, it's the first book in a duology. The Dark Tide looks interesting. I like this whole moon cycle with the waves. I think it's a wave um, because the waves are like the waters controlled by the moon and then like witches involved too. This just, yeah. Um, I hope they don't do it completely, Matt, because I feel like it might be a little bit boring in person to do that. If they make any of the red of the moons like shiny that would be beautiful or if they make the waves or and or um shiny that'd be really cool too um or even if they put everything else as just plain matte and then they print the title um lifted and and with some gloss to it i think that would look really nice too i think if they plan to just print it plain matte it'd look really boring then they also released a cover for this coven won't break by isabel sterling i love this cover it's very much in the same theme and feel of the first cover um i also as someone who's read these which just don't burn though I, I feel like they're the book cover is far more bright and fluffy and gives us much more different feeling than the actual book itself because like it's kind of dark and there's like stabby stabby murderer people in it so I don't know that that really like does a great job. I feel like this comes off as more like Din Disney whimsical magic. Then there's this cover for The Jewel Thief by Jenny Mobley. I hadn't heard of this book. Um, I saw the cover and went, this is one where it looks like they presented the publisher, like the designer went to the publisher and was like, here are some options. And they took one piece, the gold diamond head thing from one, one of the designs and were like, we like this and we like this background. Let's mix up. And they don't mix. There's an absolute disconnect. I don't know who got... It's also the title font is very cheesy. I I just look at this and it, it, it's another one that looks like an indie publisher cover. Um, or a self-published cover. I just... I have no interest in that book, unfortunately. He Must Like You by Danielle young Ullman. I don't know that I'll buy this, but... I love this cover. And it's one I'm going to watch and see how it'll fit into our library's collection development. Um... I love that she has a resting bitch face. Yes. I love the title because I remember hearing that as a kid of, well, he pulls on your pigtails. That means he likes you. No, he's bullying and harassing you. Stop touching people without their permission. I, yes, I like the bright colorfulness of this. I feel like it gives a good comprehension of 
of contemporary. It also, I look at that and that makes me think of Two Broke Girls, which I loved the first few seasons of that show. So I will keep an eye on that for purchasing for our libraries. And then the last one that they released was Greythorn by Crystal Smith. Okay, they just released this like, I think yesterday or the day before. I have out of pure principle refused to buy Blood Thie or Bloodleaf, which is the first book. This is the sequel to that. Um, it's uh, one of those books in Canada that says like $17.99 US slash higher in Canada. And it's like $26.99 in Canada or something like that. Some outrageous price where I was like, is this a joke? Um, the the front the first cover of the first book isn't bad I actually quite like it in person there's a lot of like glittery and glossed areas um it's pretty I think it's a little bit more on the simpler end um I like this cover and they posted it in the TV and biography I was like I hate it and I was like I like it I'm still not gonna buy it unless they drop the prices of the books um this looks like author designed effort was put in uh or not author design a designers um was hired and and put effort into it I'm kind of surprised that they honestly did a cover change no I shouldn't say that the series sold was optioned for tv so like I don't know if that's ever gonna happen but it wasn't stop I don't know if that's ever gonna happen but it was optioned so like they got money there and like a decent amount of people did buy it and I think it was in a book box or two so like I know they they sold like a like a decent amount of them um I don't know why if they needed to sell more they priced themselves at almost 27 dollars in Canada because like I'm not spending money on a debut author for that much money um so I'm kind of surprised they did that cover change for that but also if they didn't sell enough it's because they priced themselves out in outside of the United States that's just on the publisher they set their own price I actually like this new cover stop doing mid series cover changes um period but like I like the colors with the green and like the pinky and like it's almost a rose goldy um I like that they hired they did a mid-series cover change and instead of going to a stock photo of a girl in a ball gown they went and got an actual designer to do another one because the first one required a designer as well so I'm just a little bit surprised about that and like I said still not gonna buy it they're the books are overpriced so that's too bad um but opinions on a book that was apparently highly controversial in the TV and beyond group or the book cover at least so those are my general thoughts and opinions on some of the books definitely not all of the book covers that got released in the last couple weeks uh I'm sorry if throughout this video you heard snoring Watson won't shut up <laughs> for lack of a better term he always finds us a convenient time to start sleep snoring um yeah that's that's it and um, hopefully I'll have myself a little bit more put together in the upcoming week or so. And thank you to everyone who sent me the nice messages on Instagram. Very much appreciated. And I'm just focusing on self-care right now and taking care of myself. And yeah, I am not going to link these books in the description down below. I don't have the time or patience for that. Also, I show you the book covers. You can go look them on Goodreads because the titles are on the book covers. Okay? I will link all of my social media in the description down below though. Uh, if you follow me, I'll probably follow you back unless you're like a creepy 40 year old dude or have a sketchy account that makes me like, that tags me in 400 things. I think those are my kind of limitations. Anyways, that's it.